Welcome back guys and girls to another episode of Dad's Toy Garage. We got my five year old running the camera. He's getting pretty good at it already. And so he's becoming my helper. We take him out on his first adventure of car hunting and we pick up a 1974 FJ40. And it is a real barn find guys. This thing was actually sitting in a pole barn when we picked it up and Let's get into that story right from when I went to look at it when I saw it in the in the advertisement. So we got it here. We got a lawnmower ornament for a little while, but I'm excited. I have wanted one of these for a while. All right, we got my daughter here. We are shopping for stuff. We want to see if we can get this. Uh, you can carry that over the cart. Are they heavy? We're going to see if we can get this uh, old Land Cruiser running and drive it onto the trailer. So we're shopping for a couple items. So I've got a bit of a list, but we got the coolant, carb cleaner. We're going to get some spark plugs, a couple, some sandpaper, and see if we can get this thing started. We're shopping at Canadian Tire. All right, guys, girls, uh, we just finished our shopping trip. Uh, we had to pick up some spark plugs here at Napa, and just in case we need them. If not, we'll use them later on the FJ. But if we can get it running and put it on the trailer, that would be cool. I've got my daughter in the truck here. And you've probably noticed we don't show our kids' faces on YouTube, but she's here with me, and it's just to respect their privacy. So we had a little morning adventure, and we're, I went to the bank to get the money for the FJ and their clothes. So we're going to try doing e-transfer or draining out the debit machine. So here we go. Hey, guys, girls. We got Bob along, and my son's here. And we actually ended up... We're going to bring it home. So I'm excited about that. My wife was cool with it, and we got a bit of a trailer to use here. No, you can go more. Does it not go? Well, it might be because it's a little bit of a load that is long. Actually, I'm gonna back up more. I loaded a trailer, just hooked up a tow rope to a car, put it through here, and then had another truck drive beside. Yeah, not so much fun. Of rebar inside here. That's why you have a friend like me. I think of things like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just get you to sign one and I'll sign the other and then we're I think we're good. What do you think about today? Did we have fun time? Mm -hmm. You have to talk nice and loud for us. Yes. And we're not going to look at the camera. We respect your privacy. But uh, my little man came along, right? And did you just tell me who's whose uh, Jeep, as you call it, is that? Mm, mine. That's yours. So Daddy picks them up and you keep them. Yeah. Perfect. So that was fun. Your first adventure picking up an old car and truck. All right. Mm -hmm. Love you, bud. Somebody's pretty excited. He keeps bugging me that he wants to go inside. So, we'll let him do that. Can this run? Um, we're going to try. What else did you wonder if this was a what? A racing a Racing F car. Oh. All right, guys. I know we got rust repair to do. But what's funny to me is all this rust blows loose while we tow it home. So, boop. And it's put all the way. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun with it. We got floors. Someone's done a Schmaid repair job here. That'll get done. It's gonna be blue like my wife's. She's got an 07. So, little walk around. There is a lot of floor that needs to be redone. 
and uh, a lot of this will get replaced. I'll probably attempt to rebuild it from scratch. It's kind of cool that I believe they got a factory roll bar in there. Um, this will be fun. I love mountain biking, so this will get me out to the trails. There's this side. Even the top guys got it. Ah, I can't get it. Got some fab work to do everywhere. I love how these hoods open. So yeah, there's the engine. Kind of reminds me of a Chevy. 50s, 1950s Chevy engine, straight six. The goal I want to do initially is just get it running. I think it, it will be possible. I mean, my daughter and I picked up some parts and spark plugs. They said the fuel pump was shot, so we're gonna order a fuel pump right off the bat. Uh, see if we can get her going. That would be kind of cool. Drive it up and down the lane a little bit. Steering is so heavy without power steering. Yeah, that's our FJ project. You'll see that in upcoming videos, but for sure, we gotta get the Salika done first. I was just pumped to find something so close to home. All right, guys, girls. So we've got the FJ40 home. What I'm most excited about um, is getting to have a matching set of a new one or a newer one. This is an 07, this is my wife's. And the old one um, is pretty cool. My goal is to paint the old one a blue and white as well, but the original blue. And I just wanted to say as well, um, we brought all this stuff to you guys started. As soon as we got there, uh, we found out that the fuel pump was actually shot. So that was a no-go. But I got the stuff. I'll order a fuel pump. I kind of want to see if it's going to run. Um, i got a battery sitting in there right now. If it runs, that's kind of a win for me at this point. And it'll probably sit a little bit. But you'll see it in the upcoming on the channel. We just want to get that sleek, like I said, out of the out of the way before we get any farther that's pretty cool guys you got a pair of fjs together here um got my wife's and mine and yeah we're gonna probably put this guy in blue with the white top just the original fj40 blue that's pretty cool i wanted to see these two together it's kind of a goal that i had to get an old one and a new one so yeah some of the similarities i can see i feel like those taillights are off a jeep or something probably not original to it but we got the corner windows uh, this is a little more boxy, obviously. Uh, the shape is kind of there. The original was more, I would say, Jeep-like. And everybody knows that that grill and that grill are the most iconic part. And then we also have the little hood bent on top. So, yeah. All right, guys, it's like 11.30. I could, this was bugging me as like, I couldn't get it to crank over last time. Um, charge up my motorhome bound, um, my, for my tent trailer, the battery. I let it sit overnight on two amp charge. It just wasn't going, you know, and then I tried the headlights. We go pull the switch here. Um, look, nothing. At least in the daylight it didn't show up. So I'm thinking I didn't have the terminals tight enough. Dems are shot, so I think new headlights would be in order. Lots of, as lots of things in this. So you hit the brights though. We got it. So I'm told the mechanical fuel pump is shot. So we'll turn off the lights so we don't kill this thing. Um, but I'm told the mechanical fuel pump is shot. And I wouldn't crank over yesterday when the, or the day I brought it home. But check this out, guys. It'll crank over. So let's save that battery. I'm going to be going away a little bit. But you know what? I want to make this engine run. I want to drive it. You can't see it now. It's dark, but I got a back lane. I want to take the kids for a ride up and down the back lane. Clean it up. Have some fun with it. Uh, Tony's going to scout out some uh, end-of-the-life tires that actually hold air. These are ready flat. Um, I'm excited, guys. We're going to make this run one way or another. We're going to pour some gas down the car. We'll probably be the first Thing. but I don't know if we should do that now because I'm guessing we got no exhaust it would be a bad idea to start at 11 30 in town at night because it's 
exhaust terminates there. So keep an eye open, guys. I think we're going to try and start this over the next week. Probably when I get back from holidays. Why not? Alright, guys and girls. There's been mice in this thing. Let's make it a clean place to start with. I've got some Clorox. Watered it down on a strong mixture. And my son will be hanging out with us here. We'll get her done. So I'm going to spray her down. And we'll get her clean. Normally I don't wash the inside of a car, but that's going to happen today. Yeah. We just won't do up in the dashboard at this point. Yeah. I turned it way on. Thank you. Ow, what's on me? What, is it burning? No, it's itching. Oh, okay. And look how far I'm spraying it. I'm spraying to that tree. Yeah, cool. I'm in the video, that's okay, right? Yep, yeah, I think you got it just right. Let's give her a, let me give her a spray now, right? Hey, how did it, do you know it is I turned it on. Now guys, I'm not too worried about uh, this interior. I did the same thing on my other car. It's probably actually gonna need a whole new wiring harness. This thing looks a lot butchered. And there's enough rust holes in the floor. It's got drains, so we'll keep going. You keep it focused on the truck. Hey, come spray this side. I think you're good on the front here. Come spray the side now. Go slower. Go on to the next panel. We did this one already. Yeah, go start at the top, remember? I know, you gotta start at the top. Start at the top. Yeah, and then go down slowly. Yeah, keep going. Alright guys, last part of this washing dealio that we want to do is the engine. I've had it soaking for 15 minutes. We just used uh, two bottles of Motormaster cleaner. It would help to plug in the pressure washer, right? Alright, let's see how clean we can get it. Look at that grind come off. Check that out guys, all that grime came off. Much nicer area to work now. I mean, they're probably gonna put back on being an old engine once it starts running. Um, yeah, I feel much better about that. You can tell the parts that are new, like they put on the brake and clutch cylinders, a new carburetor. So those parts look like brand new, that's great. But yeah, now we can play. So I'm getting the feeling, guys, that this thing was used as, I think, a proper FJ should be used for having fun. Unless these are factory, I don't know, but Gabriel adjustable. Looks like pretty old school shocks. I just don't know where that you would adjust something like that, honestly. Um, we got these old school, like they used to do back in the day. Heavy diamond plate. We got a winch mount here, and I guess that's where the winch cable would come through. It's been well used um old school something like maybe your grandpa would have done diamond plate structures so that bumper is heavy diamond plate and probably a winch mount back here or a battery or something so she's definitely done the duty and probably had a lot of fun or was definitely a workhorse all right so last time you saw this truck we're gonna take a little break from our normal projects here and just kind of piece back together what I broke last time. So a little while back, you saw me have this truck destroyed when I drove it into Hydropole, that's this guy here. So I am starting to get the parts back together. I found this on eBay, it's a brand new chassis. I cracked it right here in half. And also the body mounts are destroyed. So I got this and it's got front and back and it's got the side bash bars as well. So, Brand new parts, still has the labels. 
and they're in the baggies. So that's cool. It's a pretty old truck and you can still get that stuff. So just as a reminder, it's in two pieces. So we're going to try and put this back together. I'm hoping the drivetrain is still okay. Um, that it's just gear noise that I'm hearing. So my goal is to put everything onto this new chassis here. Keep the old one as a backup. Maybe I can kind of put that back together. But as long as we can get new parts, we'll keep using them. We'll save the old parts and rebuild them as stock runs out, I guess. So let's get her done. I got my little one playing here in case you're wondering what the noises are in the background. But uh, it's hanging out in the sunroom here. So basically, here's the new chassis, an up close look at it. And it's right from HP, HPI, just it was an old supply. So part number 103365. And here is the kit of body mounts and bash bars. And there's the part number 103327. So our split happened right here. I know they make enforcement parts, which I think would be a good idea, but being an older truck, I think you gotta find somebody's used one somewhere. But here you can see the split where it kind of came apart, clean broken off. So let's get cracking. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm dealing with. So the front suspension is on and it kind of makes sense. It's literally held on with these ones these holes here hold on the front suspension and then these three and in between there is nothing. So it makes sense why this thing told they destroyed itself when we hit a pole, but it's probably good it did that instead of getting into other components because all I did needed was a $25 uh, chassis plate there. So the other thing that got destroyed is this is the steering arm. This is fine, but the arm that attaches to the servo, they did include a couple extra pieces. I think I can make this one work. It is much more beefy. I see a little less chance for destruction there. So we got this all together. I have the electronic components to put on there yet. And I also have to do this piece here. This is the rear body mount. And that's what I bought these for. Over here. So we got extra parts. I put. It's very tempting to put the new stuff on the new chassis. But we'll save them for when the old stuff wears out. It won't take long and the whole truck will look the same anyways. This piece here went missing between here and my shop when I went to go put this new steering on, arm on. So this is a piece of clothes hanger will tie me over. We're on long weekend and I want to be able to use it. So I don't see why that wouldn't give us some sort of steering. A little bit of schmadery there. So this specialty linkage here, I know it makes serviceability harder, but we'll replace that down the road when we actually need to. Um, but let's give it a test. Let's not hit the throttle. We get steering out of it. I'm not sure how much, but it is steering and we can do our fine tune adjustments. So I would say let's go give it a test and see how she runs. All right, guys and girls, let's see how she drives. It'll be a little faster than we saw it last time. Let's try not to break it again. I'd say it's working. It might be time to take her back to the RC track where we won't hit stuff. There you go. My truck works. It's a little bit like a fast snake. I might crash, but it's in one piece. You ready? Okay, here we come. You see that wheelie? Him. all right guys so that's our episode for today and i hope you enjoyed it we did a little barn find um i would say treasure hunting and uh it was fun my son got his first adventure how'd you like that adventure mister good right on Signing off, we'll talk to you later. Stay safe, get your projects done, guys. Talk to you later.